Well, we are learning more about a shooting involving police in Torrance. Assignment manager Mark Liu is at the desk with details just revealed by investigators. Mark. Yeah, that's right, Ruta Bay. A detective from LAPD headquarters just arrived at the shooting scene in Torrance and gave a briefing to our breaking news photographer there. She says a team of officers were serving an arrest warrant on a felony child abuse suspect when that suspect opened fire on officers. Now, let me show you some video from the scene. Detective Megan Aguilar from LAPD headquarters says just before four this morning, LAPD officers along with U.S. Marshals approached a home here at Torrance Boulevard near Anza to serve a search warrant on a dangerous felony child abuse suspect. As officers approached the home, they believe the suspect became aware of the officer's presence. That's when investigators say that suspect opened fire. One officer was grazed by a bullet fired by that suspect. Officers immediately returned fire and that suspect described as a 44 year old man was struck by gunfire as well. Torrance fire paramedics took the suspect to the hospital in stable condition. He's expected to survive. The officer that was grazed by that bullet is also uh, going to be OK. He was not taken to the hospital. He was treated at the scene and released. No word on the identity of the suspect. But in addition to the warrant team that was originally at the scene, LAPD's use of force team has now responded for their investigation into the shooting. And they say Torrance Boulevard is expected to be closed until the early afternoon while they gather evidence here and conduct interviews. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. Mark, thank you.